Hey guys, what's going on? Monday afternoon, not shy of any kind of activity for my channel because here, right here and now, you, you battle. Let's get it going. My opposition is going to lead things off with the Bettini. He made that immediate switch out to Paul now, too. He know what he was doing, man. Yo, I made a mistake on PO one day and I just like went and did ice punch predicting the Notoria switch. This guy had Bettini and Notoria. I'm like, yo, I know you're not switching. I got the Aqua Jet. He went for the Fusion Ball. I was tight. Anyway, it looks like he's going to stay in and inflict the Thunderbolt, which I predicted him to kind of do. Not necessarily go for the Thunderbolt, but like, you know, something. You know, maybe a uh, Trick Room. I don't know what his team is yet. So I saw Victini and Porygon too, so I just assumed Trick Room. But I wasn't even paying attention to the team preview, which is bad. All I saw was like two Fire Pokemon. And I was like, yo, I got to get a Rocks right away. I saw that he had two Fire Pokemon, and I was excited that he didn't even have a Rapid Spin on his team. So I was like, yes! Once I get up the Rocks, man, it's easy pickings here and now, you know. Not really, but you know, that's what I was thinking. But um, he has the Rotom Heat and the Victini, which won't like the rocks at all. So it's, it's pretty good, actually. I make the, the mistake and think that he's locked on to a uh, to the Thunderbolt. So me personally, when I have a defensive Rotom, I like to have Discharge. You know, if I have the will o -Wisp, I know something can potentially get burned, like Arcanine, say Arcanine and Victini, because a lot of Fire Pokemon do run and dominate the UU metagame. I like to carry Discharge because Thunderbolt is not killing nothing, you know? So Discharge, we're going to get a 30% chance of paralysis, that'd be an extra plus, you know, but in comes the Herald Cross after I bring in my Choice Band and Cobolion and finish off that uh, thing that I just finished off, I wasn't even paying attention, Jesus Christ, I know I killed something, it's just like Ben and Terrakion, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, bring me Skarmory, to a KO, kill, whatever, so I predict him to switch out because I do have the Psycho Cut, I threaten him with the Psycho Cut, I am part Psychic, and I was like, damn. I have a choice guard too, so I was just thinking that he was going to bring in my Porygon 2, which would, you know, I guess, I don't think Porygon 2 would get 2 to KO by uh, Psycho Cut, the particular range of HP that it's at at the moment, so I was thinking that he would probably bring that in and Orca Fable, you know, to take that and sponge that, and, you know, probably threaten me with a Thunder Wave or something like that, so that's why I went for the trick as opposed to going straight for the Psycho Cut. Look how much uh, HP is that, man, I don't think too, I, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm overestimating Porygon 2's ca uh, defensive capability. Abilities, or maybe I'm underestimating Metachan, so I don't even know. I predict him to go for the recover, so I'm just gonna go for the superpower. I know after I inflict superpower I won't kill, and at the same time, uh, my defense and my attack will get diminished, so it's not gonna do as much damage output as it would with the initial attack. So now I'm just gonna switch out. I just want to do some damage onto it. I'm just gonna go on to Combolion now. Um, if, even if he goes for the recover, I am choice banded. I am gonna kill it. You don't have to discharge or anything like that, so I don't have to worry, worry, I don't have to worry about you being fully paralyzed or anything like that. He just decides to leave this thing in and um to die, which is great. I need to save my choice banded Combolion for later on. This guy has like Clefable, all this other jazz. In comes Victini. He doesn't like the stuff rocks that I indicated earlier on in this video. I'm just going to switch back out into Medicham for Death Fighter just to see what he locks himself onto. The way that he brought it out, and, you know, kind of tells me that it is Choice God. He locks himself onto Zen Headbutt. So I'm like, alright, what can I do? I could probably bring in um, Porygon Z. Maybe I am Scarf, but then, you know, I guess I wasn't even, like, thinking, like, hey, Ding Dong, Victini has a higher base speed than, um, Por than, uh, Porygon Z. And I went for the try attack. I supposed to go in for the dark pulse. Yes, I did carry the dark pulse, and because uh, this guy has um, what was it? This guy has Heracross. I didn't want to bring the Heracross. Bring it in the Heracross because every time he brings in Heracross, something dies. So I know he can't switch out with the Victini now. He's Choice Scarf, and plus he doesn't have any um, Rapid Spin to switch to it. Spin away my entry hazard. So Sucker Punch, easy kill. He's gonna go for the close combat. I decide to stay in and activate his Gust with the with the uh, Toxic. So I'm like, hey, why the hell would you do that? You just increase his attacking capabilities. Well, I figured that over a period of time, the um, Toxic damage as well as the Sucker Punch after the minus one defense drop, and then afterwards. When he switches back his Heracross in, you know, he takes toxic damage and all that other jazz, would do a little bit more damage to him. Even if I do have to sacrifice my Hippo Top to achieve that goal, as opposed to just doing Brick Break and then afterwards doing Sucker Punch. So that's actually why I did that. And he's like, hey, are you stupid? Like, this thing has guts and it's wrecking your team. You're wrecking your team without guts. You're going to give it guts? Are you an idiot? I was thinking that this dude was going to bring in Empoleon. I could not take that risk. I'm so sorry. I was so wanted to go to the superpower right off the bat. The way that he brought Empoleon tells me that instead of bringing in, like, uh, Clefable or whatever like that to kind of probably stall me a little bit because Clefable will also be faster than Azumarill, the way 
what he brought in Bullion kind of told me that he did have the grass knot in Overskype. We confirmed that ideology. He did have the grass knot. He went for the skull predicting to switch out into Cabalion. I actually stayed in with the Azumarill thinking that he was going to go back into Heracross because Scarf Heracross with the close combat will be easy pickings for my Cabalion. And then I can't finish off much to anything left over with my uh, Azumarill. So that'll be a good game here. He makes a huge mistake as bringing in the Heracross is supposed to bring in the Clefable, which is amazing. I was like, oh my god. Goodness, thank the heavens! Seriously, it's supposed to bring in the um the Clefable because he has seismic toss. If he brings that in, I have to bring in my Cabolion. Th he threatens my uh, Azumarill right away, so I have to switch out to Cabolion. He could probably uh, predict that, go into Heracross, finish me off wherever like that. And if he finishes off Azumarill, it doesn't even matter because Choice Guard, I mean Choice Bannon Cabolion, you know, um gets killed by the. Uh, by the hell of course, especially at the minus one. So the viewers I'm rambling on. That was a great game, viewers. Do not forget to comment, subscribe, but you have a lot of fun. I am going outside to enjoy the weather. I like how I'm pointing this way, but the but the sun is like that way. Amazing. Viewers, peace. What you doing?